So this is where we left off with our textures on. Uh, I just want to put a, a decal on this, put some sign signage on this. Uh, so I have something loaded into Photoshop. I've just downloaded this offline. What I'm going to do is I will just take this. Um, when we bring this in, we need to have this square. I've mentioned this in one of my other tutorials about bringing images into Substance Painter. So if we just go into Image and Canvas Size. So it's a width of 980. Uh, what I'll do is I'll set the height to 980 so we have that square. Just set the canvas extension color to the background color, which is white. So we get something like that. Okay. I'm going to go and save that. And I'm going to save that as a PNG. I've already saved this out. So I'm just going to call this uh, Craft Logo Color. I'll replace that. And then I'm going to take a version of this as well. I'm going to set a background color, so I just use a fill tool. Fill this in. And I'm going to do this really quickly. I'm just going to use a magic wand tool just to get those white areas. And I'm just going to backspace those to get rid of them. So I have something like that. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to take the logo itself. So we're making an alpha from this. So I want this to be white. So I can go image adjustments and do something like a hue saturation. And then we can just take the lightness up. There we go. So let's save that as a PNG as well. And let's call this, I've got it here, craft logo alpha. Okay. Back into Substance Painter. So I can import these. I'm going to drag and drop. So I have my folder over here. I have my two um, elements I want to bring in. I'm going to drag and drop these over to my shelf. The alpha, I'm going to set as, I'm going to define that as an alpha. The craft logo color, I'm going to set this as a texture. And then I'm going to import these resources into my project. Okay, and import. And that's going to put them in the project folder down here. So I have them there. So what I'll do with this, let's bring this down. I'll make a new um, paint layer. On the paint layer, I'm just going to use this as color. And what I'm going to do is drag and drop this. If it's go back to my material, make sure I'm on my material. Let's go in. That's on the wood layer for some reason. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, that's wood rough. Why is it on that? So this is a second. I just need to actually delete this um, from here. There we go. So I'm just going to have my base color. I'm going to drag this color in here. I just increase my brush size. And what I also need to do is use this alpha. So if I just double click on this, because I've defined it as an alpha, it will set it straight away in the brush as an alpha as well. So here we go. And what I'm going to do is just switch this into orthographic mode. Um, so I can go into orthographic view here. As I'm rotating around with Alt, if I press Shift down at the same time, I can just snap this. Okay. And then just go in and I'm just going to print this on. Okay. I'm going to go back to my perspective mode. I can also press F5. There we have it. Have our logo looks a bit new uh, right now. Um, so let me go in base color. Uh, let's try something like um, maybe a linear dodge on that and do something else with it. 
Um, I am going to go in, in fact, let me just go in on this. I'm going to add a filter. And I'm going to clamp this. I'm going to bring this value down. So just to bring this down a bit. Okay, that fits in a little nicer. And then with this as well, what I can do is mask this out a little bit. So I'm going to right click. Let's just call this logo. Right click. I can add a um, white mask. And then on this, I'm just going to go into my brushes. Gonna get something like a dirt brush. And then uh, I have this set to black. Okay. So I can just go in and just start painting some of this away. It looks a little more warm. Okay. And uh, there we have it. Um, we have our barrel. If I want to export this to Unreal, all I need to do is go to File, and go to export textures and actually before I do that I'm just going to rename the material so I can just double click on my texture set list and call this barrel or even better be a barrel file export textures uh, I can do an Unreal Engine 4 pact which puts the um, the ambient occlusion the metallic and roughness all into one texture and then we can output those in Unreal. Uh, you could also go in if you wanted them all individually and choose just a PBR Metal Rough which will output all the maps you need as well. Um, I'll stick with this one. So we can just set a file location so in this case it's gonna go in and I have barrel uh, I like to create a folder and call this Bakes. So I like that and just select the folder. And then I can just click export. We do get an error, but that's just the emissive map. Again, I mentioned that in another tutorial. Um, if I click OK, we have those on there. And if I bring this out. These are our textures, so we have our base color, we have our normal, and then I have the packed ambient occlusion and roughness and metallic in there as well. Okay. Now I can also save the project, so I'll just do a save as. Let's call this um, Barrow Tut Tutorial. And there we go. There we have our barrel. Um, so hope that's been useful. I'm um, going through all the steps of creating an asset like this as a low poly asset. Uh, with some high poly details and then the final texturing in substance paint and outputting. And that's the end of that tutorial.